What's up guys, we're going to be installing LXQT desktop environment on Black Arts Linux. So if we check in the top right of the splash screen, we can see that we don't have it installed at this stage. So we're going to log in using XFCE, fire up a terminal, and we're going to get LXQT installed. All right, let's fire up the terminal. So the command we're going to be using is sudo pacman hyphen s. We're going to install LXQT, which is a group and apparently we also need to grab some icons as well. So we're going to grab the Breeze icons. Type in our password. 22 members in group LXQT. We'll grab them all. Proceed with installation. Okay, so that's complete. Now, if you are running in a shell and don't currently have a desktop environment running, you will make use of the command start LXQT. We're not going to do that since we've already got XFC running. So we should be able to log out of XFCE. So now we're back at the splash screen. If we check in the top right, we have the option to choose LXQT desktop. We're going to log in and see what we get. Now we can choose between different window managers. Just so you know, the default window manager for LXQT is open box. So we're going to go with the defaults and see what we get. Well, this is LXQT. We don't have a default binding to the Windows key, which is something I always check. So that's something that will have to be configured manually. It's always a bonus for me if we hit the Windows key out of the box and it fires up the start menu. But aside from that, initial impressions are, looks fairly good for a lightweight operating system. I like the default wallpaper. Let's take a look at what we can actually configure. Let's check out preferences. Let's check out settings. So we'll have a look in appearance, see what we find. And if we head to LXQT theme, we see that we have quite a few different options out of the box. Let's try the second one, arch colors. Let's click apply. So I already like that. It's a bit of a darker background. Now it didn't change the wallpaper, but I noticed we have this checkbox here, override user defined wallpaper. So if we check that and click apply, we'll see that each of these themes has a wallpaper that goes along with the theme. So that looks pretty good, kind of low res and grainy, but certainly like the color scheme there. Let's see what we get for a few of these. So that's obviously the background that comes as default. That's part of the clear looks theme. Dark, frost, KDE plasma, quantum, leech. That looks pretty cool. Light, silver, pretty good if you like the more nature oriented backgrounds. System, and Valendis, let's see. So I think that's a fairly good selection out of the box. Obviously you might prefer just to use your own background. The dark theme is not very dark, so let's go with perhaps arch colors for now. Now let's see if we can configure that start menu to trigger with a keyboard shortcut. So if I right click on that start icon itself, let's go to configure panel. Let's go to widgets. Now this is what we're interested in here. The application menu There appears to be a settings option here over on the right hand side. And we have keyboard shortcut. So it's actually set to alt and F1 at the moment. Let's see what happens if I press that. So that's a good shortcut, but much better if we can use the Windows key. It says click the button to record shortcut. So I'm gonna press the Windows key, which it refers to as super underscore L. So now hopefully when I press the Windows key, I get the start menu, that's great. And hopefully I can launch programs by typing. So if I just hit Windows key and type burp for burp suite, for example, there we go, we get burp suite, or if I try SQL map, Hit enter. So that way I can launch programs just by hitting the Windows key and immediately typing the name of the program, then hitting enter once that program has been found. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much it. LXQT up and running on Black Arch Linux. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.